Being a mother is demanding in a lot of ways. Adapting is just part of a mother's life. Female sports personalities face agonizing decisions about posing their careers to have children or waiting to start a family after they retire. Contracts might be reduced with doubts both internal and external about regaining their form after having a child. Cutting off the weight was a big challenge for me, but uh, as I said, I am a go-getter, so it meant paying for some gym classes for myself. Back to training, it was really hard because I was unfit and there were a lot of... People were very fit, so that's why I didn't make it to the team. As much as motherhood is celebrated, women are still challenged when it comes to parenting their children and playing professional sports. Wakati tunatoka nje, unawacha mtoto, unawachia mfanya kazi mtoto, akulele, kwa muda wa wiki ama siku tano hivi. So maybe wakati unapokuwa uko nje, akili kwa mtoto ujua koze, anaendelea aje. And sometimes maybe when I am total, I feel poor. So that's the thing they want to scare me to go in there, but I'm not comfortable here. I wouldn't say that you should not be, you shouldn't want to start your family because of sports and such a thing. Because I was there, I was a very good striker by the way, and I still am, and I'm working my way back there. Some of these women have partners who care for their children, and this helps bring a balance in motherhood. Alini skuma sana kaniambe you'll have to go for training. Tuta, tuta kuwa na chance za kuka na mtoto. Wakati we uko na training ya national team, mimi na baki na mtoto. Wakati yako na training ya national team, mimi na baki na mtoto. So, tuli, tuli saidiana kabisa. I knew that at the end of it all, I'd still want to see myself uh, playing and uh, motivating others and being that mother who came back with a bang. We do fitness, not only the ball work, but we do everything. So that makes me come back and it's really helping me. Yeah. Pregnancy is wonderful, but it can also be difficult for the body of professional athletes as it can be completely overwhelming and exhausting. I have like over 15 cups or more. I can't really keep tabs, but uh, they are quite a number. And uh, to those uh, ladies who are fearing this, please stop the fear. It's doable, it's possible. It's all about planning yourself. I make time to go and practice. I make time to, to have the team bonding with my team members. And still I have a baby to take care of. I have a child that needs my attention. I'm talking yako. Iyo si mwisho wa talenda yako. Unaweza fika hapo na urudi tena. Ita kutegemea na vile uta, utarudi na nguvu zako na ile bidi na discipline ya mazoezi yako. For professional sports women who are mothers, their stories are entirely different with the simple joys. I come to City Park, I'm going to play a game and they're all there watching me. I really feel so proud. When the baby is there in the in the stands and screaming out, Mommy, keep pushing, Mommy, I can see you, Mommy. Yeah, in as much as she may not, she may not understand whether it's as you've been scored or you guys have scored, but just, that, just the sound and the voice of my child is such a big, big motivator. Struggles and chaos that come along. These women should get the support and advocacy they need and their wins on the scoreboard recognized equally. Sports gave me the first job and I'm still into it. So the more I also play, the more I also get to go higher in, my, in the department. Women in sports have not called it quits even after transitioning into motherhood. In fact, they say it gets better once another responsibility has been added. Unacheza ili waone na pia ku encourage the young girls who are coming up. Because most of them wana akipata akiwa mjamzito it's not the end of life, but it's just the beginning. Happy Mother's Day to all women out there from Aino Ramwangi on Channel 1.